Hi everybody. So what we're going to look at today is using line art in GIMP and also filling it with colors using hexadecimal codes and also using dodge and burn. So we're going to take this line art image of Homer Simpson and we're going to convert it to uh, something like our solution here where we've got the correct colors and we've also added a kind of a light source on the left hand side. So we've lightened the left hand side and darkened the right hand side. And what we've done as well is just found the correct colors for Homer. So we're going to use the correct hexadecimal codes for his skin and clothes. So any color can be represented by a hex code, which is six digits. You might have seen them on other things. Like if you go to a paint shop, you will see a hex code on different shades of paint. So the six digits that range from zero to nine and A to F when combined into like six individual digits, you get a unique color. So Homer has his unique colors and we can look up these. So you can look up any hex code for any color or a cartoon character or in brands or in marketing campaigns. They would probably be, you know, in a lot of campaigns, they would be set out what the exact color to be used is or in a cartoon character or in anything. It's just because there's so many variations of different colors. If everybody uses the same code, then everybody is using the same color. So a quick Google of Homer Simpson will give you his hex codes. So you just have to search for Homer Simpson hex colors and it will find the hex codes for you. So I found it on this website called Simpsons Orama. And you can see here his skin and teeth, uh, his even like his mouth and tongue, pants, beard, everything is there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this hex code. So I just need the letters and numbers. I don't need the um, hash in front of it. So copy that, bring it into uh, into GIMP. And what we're going to do is that was his skin. So I'm going to drop it in here. First of all, I actually have to change the color. So click on my color and see in here in my foreground color HTML notation. So this is where I paste the color. So OK. And now we can see that it's generated Homer's skin color for us. So we click on the paint bucket on Homer's face and his arms. And if I just hit control, I'm on a PC, so control and roll the mouse wheel. I think it's command and roll the mouse wheel on a Mac. Drop it in there as well. And I zoom out by doing the opposite. So now I'm just going to look up the color for Homer's pants. So here it is here. Here's the code. So same thing again, copy it into GIMP. Select my foreground color and paste. And OK. And this is the color for Homer's pants. So I drop it in there. There might be a slightly different shade on the end of this pants, but we'll keep it simple. And for his shoes, I'm just going to color them black. So we go down here to the very corner. So actually it's all zeros is black and all Fs is white. It's like the upper and lower limits. So we'll drop that in there and in there also. And now all we need is Homer's beard. So back into our list here. And we have a look for Homer's beard. There it is there. And copy and back into GIMP. Foreground color and paste. And there is Homer's beard, Homer's beard color. So oh, we just need to put do the donut. So uh, what's a donut color? Somewhere. I guess that's a kind of a donut color <laughs> there. <laughs> OK, so we'll drop that in. We won't be too fussy about what color the donut is. Perfect. So now we're going to add our dodge and burn. So we've got the correct colors in. So if I go up here to my option here, it might appear as a finger for you. I think it starts off with the smudge. And if I keep my finger on it, there is dodge and burn. So burn is darken and dodge is lightened. So in our solution here, we can see that he, Homer is lightened on the left hand side. So we're going to use our dodge. Now we just have to keep an eye on the exposure level here and the size of our brush. So what I have it set to there is 24. So that's actually perfect for what I have. So we only want to go slightly inside Homer's head and his arm and pants. So we'll just try it first and we may have to undo it depending on how it looks. So if we just zoom in, that looks right. So I'm just going to follow around. So as if Homer is out in the sun and we'll follow his beard around there. Actually, I'm just going to undo that and start over here and down here. So if you keep your finger on the mouse, don't take your finger off it. And we'll come down the side of Homer's arm 
pad down Homer's leg, so I keep my finger on the mouse. And it's a little bit wobbly. And down there, and we'll follow his pants around. Oh, so I made a slight mistake there. Undo. And I have to undo that again. Third time lucky. There we go. And then we follow it down there. So there's a way to do this more exact if you want to using the lasso tool. I'll show you. So if we wanted to actually nominate an area that we wanted to be able to apply our dodge or our burn to, we select it like this. So that kind of nominates the area. And now if I use dodge and burn, I can only use it inside that area. So that's actually the most accurate way to do it if we want to get a straight line. So that's perfect. So I just get rid of that by hitting select all. And then if I use burn, so we do the opposite on the other side of Homer. So we'll test it out first and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that's right. So we don't want to go too heavy on it. And then down the side of Homer's arm over here. So we could apply a little bit of a dodge to the left hand side of Homer, which we'll do now in a second. So burn that down there and burn the inside of his left leg. And the only thing I have left to do then is to lighten this part here, which I forgot to do the first time. And now if we zoom out, if there's any parts that are too heavy, we can blur them where the lines meet. So maybe here we could blur a little bit or up here. Uh, I've got a little bit too much uh, dodge down there. So we can undo them as we go. Uh, but that gives us a very good idea how to add dodge and burn so we can lighten and darken our Homer. So it looks like there's a light source coming from the left hand side. Got our light and on the right hand side, it's darker like a shadow. So dodge and burn. That's our hex codes and using the paint bucket.